M0FXB, welcome to my video adding a repeater to the QYT KT8R or the Radtail 4B. So first thing you do is turn the device on. At the top here, you can see that you've got the volume and the channel change in the middle, okay? So to go into VFO mode, press the blue button. Channel mode, channel mode means memories. Frequency means VFO. When you're in VFO, you can type frequency. So just type one, four, oops, missed that one up. Excellent. One, four, five, seven, five, zero. And I do really like the, the, the way the keys are green and white and the colors and you can customize all the colors. It's actually a very beautiful radio. And I'm using the all-in-one programming cable that you can get. They're on Amazon for about 11 quid. And, but you can get the the original one, but this is better if you ask me. It does many radios. And I recommend using Chirp because I think the original software is a bit not very good myself. Anyway, 145750. So we now need to start going into our menu settings. So menu, one to look at is menu zero is TMR off. So if I exit, TMR off. So if I exit, all these frequencies that you can just, you can monitor you can actually turn them off so that only you only listen to hear the one that's coming through. Otherwise, it's going to be really confusing. So I've turned that off at the moment. But to change it, you just go menu. When you're in zero, press menu again. And just start to choose, you know, A, B, C, and D. It's off at the moment. But look, A, B, C, D. And you can choose, customize that how you like. You can customize the colors. Next thing we'll go is menu. And we'll press number two. Check our squelch. We've got it on three to change, press menu and go up and down, and set your squelch. And while we're there, we'll just go down one. The step's fine. TMR we did, go up again. TX power, to change that, go menu. Then you can go up or down. It's five watt this one, but they actually advertise one that's 15 watts. We'll check the power in a separate video. So that's fine, then we'll just exit. There are shortcuts down here for a lot of functions that you'd want to select. You just would just press menu and then one of these, look, five. there's your timeout. That's how long you speak, which is menu number five. And just go menu again and change the seconds to uh, how, what you like, really. Or you could just turn it off so there's no timeout. Just go menu. Oh, that was a scrambler. <laughs> uh, let's do that again. Menu. Timeout. There you are. So set that how you like it. Exit. Then we'll go menu and we'll go to number 13, one, three. And we want the CTCSS, we'll go menu. And on, we want 94.8, so we go, keep going up and down until you see 94.8. Then just go menu. We set that, then exit. We're gonna go menu 51 which is menu 51, we'll go menu, go up and down. We want a minus shift for a two meter repeater. Press menu again, that's our shift. Then you just go up one menu with the up arrow and we want the offset. So that when we transmit, it, it will move this, the frequency by 600 kilohertz. So I need to get it right, I always get mixed up. <laughs> so anyway, um, so we'll go, uh, the offset, we're gonna go naught. Oh, well, let's go back down again. First, we've got to press the red button when we're in 51. Sorry, men I'm confusing myself. So, menu 52. Okay, menu again. And then you go 0, 0, 0, 60. Menu. And then you can exit. So, you could put 0, 0, 0.7.60, and that'll be a plus shift for 70 centimeters or 430 megahertz. So look, at the moment, we should be able to key now, M0 FXB test, and you can see it shifts down, and if we were outside, we'd open up our repeater. We've got the tone set, 94.8, the minus shift at 60, and the right frequency, and it's just gonna work. So now, normally to save on memory, it's a bit confusing, because if I just go menu now, and the memory is 49, if you just go, it's transmitted it, exit. Now press the blue button, channel mode. channel mode, and we'll find that memory. And hopefully when we transmit, 
There you go. Excellent. That's what we like. And um, it shows it up in our display here as well. Let's have a go at doing the, the name. So we'll go memory. Menu two seven. And then we're going to look for, it says here, channel name. And I've not, I've definitely not done this before. So channel name, menu. And then it says here, GB3BC. Oh, it's finding existing names. Look at all that. I think I'm going to have to come back and do the channel name in a separate video because I need to learn that. But at least you can get into your repeater now. And you've seen what a lovely looking radio this is. Twin PTT, 2000 milliamp hour battery, not USB-C. But a pure joy to use and a really nice size. Bye for now, 7-3.